Today, we're making New York strip steak. Hello, and welcome back. Normally, I like grilling my steaks outside over an open flame, but today it is cold and wet. So, I might as well show you how I cook a steak inside. First of all, you have to start off with a good piece of meat. For me today, it's this choice cut New York strip. A ribeye will work, a porterhouse will work, and of course a T-bone steak will also work. I'm going to use this enameled cast iron skillet, but really any pan will work. I like using this one because it heats consistently throughout the pan. I'm also going to put a tablespoon of butter in the pan. Once the pan and the butter are hot enough, it's time to add a little seasoning. I'm going to use the HEB steak seasoning. Salt and butter will also work. Put it on both sides. And let it start cooking. Now I don't cover it right now, I just want to brown the bottom. So when you brown the bottom, you're gonna get more of a Maillard reaction. It's gonna be that nice, flavorful, crusty brown on the bottom. If I cover it right now, it'll probably be done in a few minutes. I don't wanna finish cooking it until I flip it and cause that browning on the other side as well. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be about six minutes on one side, four minutes on the other side. I actually like it medium rare, so I'm gonna to try to pull it off at 125, let it finish cooking on its own to about 130, then slice into it after a few minutes rest and enjoy this nice steak. All right, it's been about five or six minutes and it's looking pretty good. Let's flip it over. Try to stab it as little as possible to keep the juices on the inside. So I'm gonna flip it with tongs. Oh, there you go. It's looking good on this side. So now I will cover it. It's a pretty thick steak and I do want it to come to temperatures at about 125. So I'm gonna lower it just a little bit. So I started off on medium heat. I'm gonna lower it to about medium low. I still want the Maillard reaction on the second side, but I also want the center to get to 125. So I'm trying to control the heat where the two sides are nice and brown and crispy and the inside is a pinkish reddish color. The contrast between those two flavors are going to be music to your taste buds. Let's see if this comes out perfectly. All right, it's been about four minutes. I'm about to check it. Again, I only covered it because it was a thick piece of meat. If it was a thin steak or even a hamburger, I probably won't even cover it. I just cook it on both sides without even covering it. All right, it's looking pretty good. Both sides look good. I'm gonna rotate a little bit. I'm gonna stab it with a thermometer. Yeah, my pin says 126. That's just enough. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off, put it on the plate, let it rest, and we'll see what it looks like in a few minutes. All right, we've let it rest for a few minutes. Now let's cut into it and see if it's exactly what we're looking for. So we have the, the Maillard reaction on the outside. So we've got a nice crispy outside. Let's see what it looks like in the middle. Oh, nice pinkish reddish, medium to medium rare. That looks delicious. The only thing left to do is pour the wine, add the fries, and enjoy. That looks delicious. I can't wait to dig it. It is delicious. Cheers. Cheers. And we'll see you guys in the next video. No, not cheers. And I'll see you guys in the next video.